Now, I'm in a bit of a crisis attempting to make coffee for my guests, but Mark over here has been kind enough. He's one of the workers here. has been kind enough to offer me that help. Mark, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Yeah, I want to make coffee for my guests. Which kind of coffee do you think is more uh, appropriate for my we're guests? We're going to make a cafe latte. A cafe latte? Yes. Okay, which sort of ingredients we need for that? There's a coffee, ex espresso coffee. Okay. Uh, milk. We need milk. And sugar. Sugar? So, but we're going to make a design on the top of that coffee. Okay. So people are going gonna to like it. Are you going to make it so enticing for my guests? Exactly. It's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I know most of you are so excited. Ah, so am I, all right? Mark, this is the coffee. coffee. This is the coffee for you. What is so unique about it? It's a coffee latte. It's a coffee latte. Originally, so? I think it's Italian or something. It has, it has, it has some milk. Mm -hmm. It has sugar, okay. just simple sugar. Okay. It also has coffee, just to keep your brains alert. Is it Ugandan coffee? Ugandan coffee. Then I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> we will be so glad. Yes. From Mumbai. Yeah. Which sort of design is that, Mark? Wow. It's like a, it's like a frown. <laughs> Thank you, it's Mark. actually a flower. <laughs> it's a flower. Yeah. Please test your coffee. I want to see how the test feels like. Mm. Great. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It's good coffee. <laughs> You're still watching Chile with DNZ on Magic One TV. Uh, my name is Drago, and uh, we still have Kano Felix in the house, who is the former spokesperson, the chief political commissioner, and now a new member of parliament. <laughs> and then, of course, we are joined by Zulaika as usual, yeah, our beautiful yeah, flower. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Felix, I've got to ask you something real quick. Growing up in your family, I understand you're the youngest. Right. How did it impact your life growing up? Growing up in our culture, when you're the youngest, yes. you're actually a slave. Wow. Everybody from your father to the next sibling you follow has a right to order you around. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you are being bullied. So you are bullied, you are <laughs> sent around, and that mentored yeah. Yeah. my love for rights, okay. to struggle for rights. Okay. Because eventually I grew up to assert my rights as a human being. Wow. That being young is not a crime, mm. I also have rights, and they should be respected. Okay. You'll be given nicknames, both good and bad, yeah. depending on what the other person wants to achieve. If it is a bully, it wants to put you down. Yeah. So they use a negative nickname. Yeah. If it's somebody out of love for you, they give you a name <laughs> that is sweet, that uh, you know, is tender. It's funny. So it depends yeah. on who you, is naming you. Yeah. But the gratifying thing is that my father loved me so much. Okay. So he was my best friend when I was growing up. Wow. Yeah. Among us, your kids, right? Yeah. Is there anyone? Who would love to who would love to join the army just like you following the passion of the dad that is in the army so i'd love also to join yeah the, I, I know and i know would you even support it at the same time yeah so like i know of some kids there's jay frederick yes there's Anne. yes felicity yes there is uh who is this other one there's uh sankara jacinta. there's jacinta uh -huh. and, and then sankara is, yeah i know frederick he started from uh st mary's college Kisubi. Kisubi. Yeah, that's where my elder sister started. Frederick is my second born yeah. and the eldest son. Okay. So he's a follower. He's also a boy. Yeah. Now that one wants to join the army. Okay. He's finished my career and I've said, your choice is your choice. Okay. Just like I never wanted anybody mm. to determine for me what I want to do. Okay. I don't determine for my children. Wow, that's great. I only guide them in education. Yeah. But as far as their future as adults, they make their choices. Your Just like I would never determine what they, whom they choose as their spouses. Wow. No. You've had some passion in, in like journalism, right? And you're inspired by the Dan, late Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Chazer. Yeah. Chazer. Sorry. Yeah. So if in case any opportunity comes by and then you can go do the, the broadcasting thing, would you go for it or? I would go for it, but this time in a different angle. Okay. When I was young, eight, nine, ten. I loved the voice, the body voice of Danny Chazé. Yeah. So I would actually pick a paper, if I find a, an old newspaper, I would pick it and try to read like him. Wow. 
so I wanted to be a newscaster. Yeah. But now I'm looking at myself as a mentor. Okay. So I would do broadcasting, but from an angle of teaching. Because oh. I believe the young people have a lot to learn from me, from my experience, from what I've seen, both the negatives and the positives. Yeah. And it's a duty of this country. Yes. So yes, I would take it, but from a teaching angle. Now uh, we have a segment where we talk about a music video. You chose one day gala by Judith Bavide. Yes. You had a million chances to choose any other video. Why did you specifically did choose that one? You know, if you read about my life, yes. I can call myself a miracle child. One week, my mother dies. At the age of three, I get polio. It also goes. At university, I get hepatitis B. Yes. It's now a crisis. I recovered completely. Wow. I've gone through six ambushes. I have no bullet in my body. That's God. It's really so I must wonder why does God loves me, love me so much that He preserves me all this time. Oh, so this connotes with one jagara. Luachi, because the song is Luachi one jagara. Why did you love me so much? <laughs> and so how can I pay God for this love? Okay. That's why it's my best song. So uh, a video was nice. She was putting in this long blue dress, mm. some glitters. Mm. Mm. I had a very nice... The video is nice and for me it's not the video. Basically it's the message. Okay. It's the message you need. We sort of have a gift for you. Ha! That Santa Maria! <laughs> this we usually do with most of our guests. Okay. Oh. And I hope you love it. Let me first check. You, you, yep, you, this you, is the one. You talked of adrenaline. Mine now has risen. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. We use Am I allowed one. to look at it? Yes, yes. you unveil it on camera. You take it out. You can remove it and yeah, take it out. Wow. So we usually reciprocate for the time and love wow. that our guests do. That's just a guest just not something so expensive, but at least you know it can It comes back share. to perception. Yes. What do you mean by expensive? What's expensive and what is cheap? <laughs> a gift is always a gift. A gift is a nothing gift. Like yeah. expensive. There's nothing that matches the spirit behind the giving yeah in no amount of money you told me you liked green and i tried to get some colors of green <laughs> <laughs> and i liked dull colors so <laughs> Ooh, it would match with my shirt it would totally match you know L let me help you out on that hello <laughs> you see me <laughs> <laughs> Such an interesting gentleman. Yeah, it is. But in a tie. Hello. Thanks so much for tuning in to Magic One TV. Yes. Yeah. Been chilling with D and C. Yeah. And yeah, my makeup is done by the Beyond Be Beautiful. Beyond Beautiful. Uh, yeah. The Ghana House. And I'm still by Urban Style. style. Yeah. And I also want a special thanks to Kwanzaa Classic. Phone in Wandega. This guy is good. I'm putting on a Tommy Hill figure shirt, as you can see. Look, Look absolutely right, smart. You're very, you're very smart. smart. So and thank the, you, Kwasi. The color. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Felix Kolaije, for joining us. It has the been pleasure. a pleasure. The pleasure You've been mine. so knowledgeable yeah. and beneficial. I appreciate it. I just hope I served your purpose. Yes, you did. Here. Yes, you did. Thank you. To the rest of the viewers out there, thank you so much. See you later.